Hey guys, this is Greg Tastic here, and today I wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk about the Acerop Fatality X370 Gaming K4 motherboard. And as some of you may have known, I did videos on this motherboard a couple of months ago, and I was using this motherboard in my main computer, and I switched it out. The reason I did that was a combination of two things. First was that I felt like the B350 boards were cheaper and also would provide me with the features that I needed because basically the biggest difference is uh, SLI and I, or Cro Crossfire and I, either one of those. I don't need either of those. I just believe in, I mean, I don't believe in, but I use one video card and that's what I need. So I kind of did a downgrade thinking that I would sell the Acerock X370 board and another reason I did it is because, for some reason, like, this board uh, was never specified to run at 3200 megahertz, which I don't have 3200 megahertz RAM, mine is 2400, but if the price of RAM ever goes down, I would like to get 3200 uh, megahertz RAM, and it just kind of upset me a little bit that it didn't support that when pretty much every other board technically does, even if it was having trouble and needing BIOSes to update it to support it. So I switched out uh, the X370 and I've been using a Tomahawk B350 from MSI, but I never sold the X370. I just didn't get around to it. Uh, I listed it on Craigslist and nobody contacted me about it. And then I was going to put it on hardware swap on Reddit, but I just never never did it. I don't know. I, and now I, I want to talk about it because like things keep popping up with this motherboard that um, a few days ago someone on Reddit said that someone from Acerock told them that the board was end of life and wouldn't be getting too much support from them in the future. Which basically meant that a board that's only been out for a few months, like three or four months, uh, is, is no longer supported, which really doesn't make any sense. And if they were going to do that, then uh, they should swap the board out for a different board. Uh, I still see it on sale places. And then one of my YouTube commenters, I'm forgetting your name right now, sorry. Uh, commented and said they just released a new BIOS the other day, so that got me interested interested in what was going on. And then I actually went back to the Reddit thread that was talking about it being end of life, and it was updated saying that someone got uh, their RAM clocked at 3200 megahertz on the new BIOS. So now I'm like trying to, I have no idea what's going on with this motherboard. Uh, if you're, you're thinking about buying one, I would say to be cautious and try and see what exactly uh, they're doing with it. Some people were saying that the boards were bad, like something about the board wouldn't let you clock it to 3200 megahertz. But even if they were, like, even if these boards were, like, giving them a hard time and they were thinking about not supporting them anymore or whatever, like, the fact that someone... Uh, got 3200 megahertz on it even if everybody can't do that yet the fact that someone did shows that there's some progress and that it is possible it is a nice motherboard and it's one of the i don't know if it still is but when i bought it it was one of the cheaper x370 motherboards and it is a nice motherboard if honestly like having spent the money on both boards already the b350 and the x370 if they got official 3200 megahertz support i may just go back to the x370 and dump the b350 but for right now i'm in like this limbo where i can't decide what to do because nobody really knows you know what's going on as of like three or four days ago it was end of life and now all of a sudden they got a new update and some people are saying they're getting 3200 megahertz on it so it's a really odd situation because you expect and all the motherboards mostly had trouble when the uh, Ryzen was first released. But you would expect all that to kind of be sorted by now and have like a definitive answer like, yes, it can do this or no, it can't do that. 
for most of the other motherboards, it seems like they're starting to flush everything out and get a better idea of what it can do and what it can't do. And this board just seems kind of like an enigma. So I just basically wanted to do this video part in, in part to warn people thinking about buying it that maybe, you know, hold off or wait. Like if it is still a good price X370 board, then you know, and you don't need 3200 megahertz RAM, then maybe it's still a good purchase. But if you're counting on 3200 megahertz, you might want to wait or buy something else. And also, I, I was just hoping that anybody who was in the know might uh, tell me what exactly is going on with this board, if anyone knows. And you can see my transparency here, I'm being honest, because I still may sell this board, but I'm also telling people not to buy it. So, I mean, I'm just holding on to mine for now, and I'm going to decide what to do later. But uh, thanks for watching, and, and hopefully we get some type of answer about what's going on uh, with this board. I would try and email con or contact Ace Rock myself, but I actually never got contacted back from the last time I tried to do that, so I'm not I'm not doing that again. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Yes, guys, I just wanted to add one thing. I can't test this out myself, I mean the 3200 megahertz RAM with updating the BIOS because I don't have 3200 megahertz RAM but if anybody has it in their heart to send over some 32 megahertz RAM whether it be a person or just some company that happens to watch I will gladly accept it and test out anything you need for you <laughs> anything you need um, I know nobody's gonna send any but I figured I'd put it in there anyway <laughs>